Hello, fellow humans, and welcome back to Season 2 of our Floating Island Survival Series. I'm PAC, and off-camera, I just gathered a whole bunch of sand, and we are ready to finally get back to building this. I know I kind of left it on a little bit of a cliffhanger, if you will, on the last episode to figure out what this whole building's gonna look like, so hopefully this will satisfy those curious. I'm using cut sandstone for these walls here, mostly because I really like the horizontal line it has, and it makes a great kind of foundation-y look, if that's a word, foundation-y. No, I'm gonna say it's a word because I'm using it. And so this, oh wow, perfect, basically. So this is going to be the basic layout of my little humble abode. I'm gonna want this area here to be like my bedroom, if that's a thing, or just like on the ground level. And then I have this separation here because I want this area to be two floors high. So one floor here, and then this side is two floors tall. And then let me make some more sandstone. Is, is sandstone slabs a thing? They are, okay, perfect. Make a bunch of these for the roof, perfect. And then I think the roof, is that too low? That might be a little bit too low for me. I'm gonna keep it, I think. I think it, I think it looks a little too low on the inside, but I think the height from the outside would make sense for it. I think it's closer, more similar to what the, the villages look like. So I'm gonna go with that height for the roof. We got a ceiling to this room now. And then I think for this room, I want the ceiling to be just a little bit taller. Just a little bit taller than this. So that way I'm the top floor kind of looks over this without actually being a part of this. Cause I don't want it to be like, oh, it's a balcony. Although I love balconies, I would prefer this to be at separate space. So I'm gonna make this just a little bit taller. Probably, probably two blocks taller. If that, maybe, yeah, this is one block taller. So yeah, two blocks taller. And then I'm gonna get, need to get more sandstone, but I'm gonna get it started on this ceiling at least. Something like that for this room. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good height. Building the rest of the house is going to be a mission for another day. Today, I'm going to want to explore more of the nether. I did a little bit of exploring when we first came here, but it was mostly just trying to get as much wood as humanly possible. I want to actually like go around and explore things. Like I, I know I just said that, but like further beyond just this home area. And I was cautious before because I don't have access to gold yet. These uh, these pig piglins pose a major problem because they do a bunch of damage if I'm not careful. Yeah, they too shot me. I'm gonna die here. Oh no, no. There's not much I can do. That's unfortunate. We do respawn at our bed though. And we're gonna keep going. We're just gonna grind through this until we are able to get some sort of gold armor. Because if you don't know, which I don't, if you're out of the loop somehow in game mechanics, gold armor prevents, oh, yikes. <laughs> Gold armor prevents you uh, from falling victim to their attacks. Like they won't actually attack you if you have some piece of gold armor. So I'm gonna exploit that if I can actually, you know, not continue dying. Uh, I just fell off this cliff here and now we're down here. I luckily landed on this single plot like block. So we're not totally gonna say we're not totally screwed but uh now we might be totally screwed ah, i think i can jump here safely okay we're fine we're fine we're good oop and <laughs> never mind uh i think everything probably fell into the lava uh i have i have a pick okay not all is lost 
I don't have any stone on me? Okay, I'll make just a wooden sword for now because I'm I, I'm not planning on fighting very much. And let's bring half this bread. I don't want to bring all the bread and risk dying again. Oh, found our hoe. Because apparently we forgot that. Oh. Some gold though. Six gold nuggets. I think the, the cheapest uh, armor to make is gold shoes. Each gold nugget. You need nine gold nuggets to make a gold ingot. Four gold ingots to make the shoes. You can get that math in your head. Bam, bam, boom, boom. You need 36 total gold nuggets. Easy. Now we are immune to the piglins. Unless we mine more gold in front of them, that is. Hey, these guys are rocking some golden armor too. Hey. We're like twins. Oh, he's going after me. Oh, oh no, 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 no. This is not what's. No. <laughs> Good job. I am vowing that I am going to get this house done today. By the end of the episode, you will see this house finished. So I'm going to go and mine up so much sand. More sand than I have ever mined before in an effort to get as much sandstone as possible so that I can finally get this thing done. All right, check out this quarry I've made. And I've got a decent amount of sand, so maybe this will be enough, but if not, then I'm gonna have to get some more. And I think that we are finally finished. Take a look at this thing. I'll do a quick walk around and then I will go ahead and do an indoor tour. I think I missed a block there actually. But anyway, this is what it looks like from the outside. I went for the kind of castle-y look for the roof just because I think it looks nice with the desert materials. And we got some glass for windows. So that was the outside. We also have a little pen for our horsey, uh, who I just captured, who is actually not that speedy. I think I might actually be faster just on my own, but he's got a bunch of hearts and he doesn't, he doesn't jump very well either, but a horse is a horse, you know? So this is good. We'll name him later. I don't know what to name him right now, but let's check a look inside. We've got a nice door leads into this main central room where we've got our chest set up 
with a furnace going. It's very bare right now, but I will add more to it as we adventure on. And then this is kind of like my bedroom thing. Very, very plain. Nothing except for a bed here. But that's how the house looks, and I'm glad I finally got it done after, frankly, quite a lot of sand mining. Here's your mid-episode reminder to be careful when you're on the sand, because even just breaking a dead branch could cause a massive chasm to appear underneath you and cause you to fall into the void. Don't do what I do! By the way, yes, that actually did just happen to me and I lost all of my levels, I lost my golden boots, so please, please be careful from my heart to yours. However, I think it is right that we should go and explore this desert temple. I feel like- Oh, no, not again! Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, this time I actually got it on camera, but good lord, are you kidding me, dude? Ugh, okay. Hopefully, there's a chance that my stuff is fine. <laughs> there's a chance that my stuff is fine. I, I gotta stop the habit of breaking every single dead branch that I see. Or that's just gonna keep happening to me. I'm just gonna, it's gonna keep falling underneath me and I'm gonna keep dying. Is it here that I died? No. No, I think it's further this way. Okay, let me go. I, I gotta stop. It, it's... I just I just see one and I gotta break it. I, I, I just I just gotta break it. <laughs> it, it kills me. It kill it actually kills me twice now. All right, I'm gonna go get my stuff and then I'll see you guys in a sec. Look at this sand just ready to plummet down there. Ugh, I'm gonna do it. Wee! Good lord. This challenge is something else. I don't even know I can get my stuff back, but I'll just give it a try. Jump. Oh. Let's try this again. Put it there. Okay. Now we can fall down. And I, I died right here. You can see if the skeleton will leave me. I just got my pickaxe from there. But I think everything else probably fell into the void, unfortunately. Ugh. Oh, desert, I hate you! Alright. Let's try to get geared up again. I got my basic tools ready, but I ran out of food because I fell out of the void. So I'm gonna have to go and scavenge around this village for some more. I think I've gotten all of the hay bales, though. So I'm gonna actually have to do some farming. But none of these are ready. Well, there's a couple that are ready. <laughs> First time planting a seed. Got them. Actually, speaking of farming, we should set up a little farming station at our base. So I'm going to steal all of the dirt from these poor villagers. I'm going to have them starve. And then... Oh, if they starve, then they will have to buy our crops so we can get better emeralds. That actually doesn't happen, but for the lore-wise of this series, I think it would be funny. So I'm going to gather all of this dirt, and then we will be on our way to set up a proper farm. After raiding the village for all of the food that they have, I ended up with just over a stack of dirt, and then plenty of seeds to get us started. So I'm going to dig up this area around me, plant some dirt, and we can get a farm going. The farmland has all been placed and we ended up with exactly one dirt left, so that's good for us. I also stole a composter, which I guess I'll place here. And then we need to get ourselves a hoe and then we can start planting. All of our seeds have been planted and so they should soon start to grow. So I'm gonna go turn this wheat into some food and then we can get back to our main objective of going to the desert temple. Oh my goodness, I am so embarrassed. I just lost about 10 minutes of recording or so. Uh, we went, what you missed is I went and actually went to the desert temple and inside there wasn't very much of anything. We did get a golden apple from it. Uh, I collected the TNT that was inside. We got a couple more saddles and we got a single iron ingot from inside, which wasn't very interesting. Uh, but we did get a bunch of bones, which I transformed into bone meal, 
and I used the bone meal to make the plants all grow big and strong. So that's all unfortunately lost into the abyss of wherever what happens to videos whenever I don't record. So unfortunately, I do not have access to them anymore. Unfortunately, that's going to have to do it for us today. I apologize about the recording error, and I'll be sure to make up for it next episode. However, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed watching, and as always, take care. <laughs>